Hey everybody and welcome back. This is another TTM video. We like to get autographs TTM or through the mail. We've only got five today. We're going to get right to it though. First one's coming from Tampa, Florida. Tampa, St. Pete. Tampa, Tampa, St. Petersburg. Mr. Peter Tom Willis. First time we've received him back. I see some other people getting him back recently. Past month or so. Pretty good quarterback at Florida State. Never really uh, made it in the NFL. But I'll tell you what, he played in the uh, Arena Football League after his four-year career in the NFL. Played all for the Chicago Bears from 90 to 93. Then he played two seasons in the uh, Arena Football League for the Tampa Bay Storm, kind of close to his where he played college football at Florida State and did really well there. Only threw for about 1,200 yards in his NFL career and threw for almost 10,000 yards in two seasons with the, with the Storm. And then after his retirement from uh, the AFL, Arena Football League, he did color commentary for radio broadcast, Florida State football. Probably did that for about uh, 10 or 12 years. Nine days, no fee for the 53-year-old former quarterback. A 91 Pacific and 290 Pro Sets. Nine days, no fee. Next one's coming from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Don't get too many from Green Bay, but I assume this is a Packer. Can we assume that? It's Chris Jackie. It is a Packer. On the 92 game day, we like that set a lot for autographs especially. And uh, 13, Chris Jackie, 13, 91 Pacific, 92 game day. Two of two. Only sent him two cards for some reason. Probably didn't have any more. Because he's a good signer, he will sign more than more than two. But he's 54 years old, as opposed to Peter Tom, who's 53. He kicked for 11 seasons in the NFL, 89 to 99, mostly for Green Bay. In his final season at Green Bay, he helped him win a Super Bowl ring, Super Bowl 31 over the Patriots. He was an All Pro in '93, and he's a member of the Packers Hall of Fame. Inducted there in 2013. 14 days, no fee for kicker Chris Jackie. Next one's coming from Knoxville, Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. A Tennessean is believing. Jeff Reed, former catcher. Not the kicker for the Steelers for years. This is the catcher. Jeff Reed, 3 of 3. Got him there on his Rockies days. I remember him with the Reds. He played for five or six teams, I think. Played for 17 seasons from 84 to 2000. Reds and Rockies are pictured. I remember him with the Reds because he won a World Series ring in 1990 as a backup catcher for those Cincinnati Reds. There's the 90, 80, 89 season shown there, 102 games. He really didn't play much more than that. 102 here, 100 and there, but uh, his claim to fame probably, besides winning the World Series ring, was that 88 season. You'll notice he caught only 49 games, or played in 49 games, one of which was Tom Browning's perfect game, which he caught the entire game. And Tom Browning gives him a lot of credit for uh, keeping him in the game and keeping him perfect. Got that back from Jeff Reed in 11 days, no fee. Three quick returns so far, 9, 14, and 11. Next one's coming from Phoenix, Arizona. Went all the way to Tacoma, Philadelphia, Atlanta, L.A. And landed here in Charleston, Wuva. Roger Worley, I love it. I like it a lot. That's his rookie card, I believe. He's in the Hall of Fame, 07. Two Michael on that one and two Michael. He uh, personalized two. 72 tops and the 73 tops. And he did not personalize the other one. So let's feature that rookie card. Yeah. 71 tops. Love that set. 71, 72, and 73 football are got to be, in my opinion, the best three year run of cards, maybe in tops history. Personal opinion, I know, but those are my favorites. So this uh, Roger Worley, I think I believe that is his rookie year, rookie card. He's number 15 there, and he, of course he changed in number 22, made that kind of famous. He's 72 years old, 
played for uh, from 69 to 82 for 14 seasons, all for those St. Louis, yes, St. Louis Cardinals. And uh, Roger Staubach called him the best cornerback he played against, and that's saying a lot because Staubach was one of the best quarterbacks of all time, first of all, but he played against a lot of great cornerbacks in his day, including Mel Blunt in the Super Bowl years, Willie Brown, Hall of Famer Jimmy Johnson, but he considers Worley the best. Seven times in the Pro Bowl for Roger Worley. He's in the NFL's 1970s All-Decade Team, Cardinals Ring of Honor, College Football Hall of Fame as an All-American at University of Missouri in 2003, and then, of course, the Pro Football Hall of Fame as he wrote on his cards in 2007. So 10 days, there is a $5 fee per card, so I went big on that one. I went big, $20 for four cards for Hall of Famer Roger Worley. Next one's coming again from Tampa St. Pete. Already opened the envelope, and it's Gary Peters. That rookie cup card. Nice. Two rookie cup cards. And then the uh, ERA leaders, 1966. He's 83 years old now. He's a great signer. Gets him back quick. This is uh, maybe the second time I've gotten him back. But you'll see that's his rookie rookie year right there. Of course, he was called up and down several times in three or four seasons before that. But this is his first full year in the major leagues, of course. But he was already, what, 26 years old. 19-8 and eight as a rookie with a 2.33 ERA. No wonder he won rookie of the year. <laughs> and then... Uh, a few years later, he led the league in ERA with a 1.98 1, 1 ERA. That's about half of what the leaders are in today's game. So we'll put that leaders card over there. I don't know if Joe Horlin or Steve Hargan are still living, and they sign. I'll have to check that out. Maybe I can get a dual signed or even a tri-signed card. They would be probably with uh, about Mr. Peters' age in the 80s, I'm sure. We'll check them out. But, uh, yeah, really good pitcher from the very start. Rookie of the year in 63, two times an all-star. Uh, led the league in wins and then following year after this with 20. And led the league in ERA in his rookie year and then again in, in 66, as you see in that card. Finished his overall career with 124 and 103 record. Uh, oh, more than 1,400 strikeouts. Really good pitcher. Named to the uh, White Sox All-Century team, so he's a legend in Chicago. Then he finished his last three years of his career with the Red Sox. So he was a Sox guy. Ten days, no fee for Gary Peters. Well, that's it. Quick quick show today. And a uh, quick wrap-up is Peter Tom Willis, nine days, no fee. Chris Jackie, 14 days. Jeff Reed, 11. Roger Worley, 10 days. Remember that $5 per card fee. And Gary Peters, 10 days, no fee. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like what you see. If you haven't subscribed yet, Go ahead and subscribe, and then you can hit that one-click subscription right here. And then hit that notification bell. You'll be notified of all my future videos. And then I'll put the most recent TTM video, Through the Mail Autograph video, right here. You can one-click and watch it for the first time if you haven't done so already, or watch it again if, you already, if you've already seen it one time. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you soon.